morning. We are here in the world-renowned Rocky Mountain National Park. We pulled into the Glacier Gorge parking area and then we made our way up toward Mills Lake. Continuing on from there, we went to Black Lake and that is the beautiful Black Lake behind me, as you can see right there. Today we have got an incredible adventure circumnavigating the Black Lake Cirque on the north side. And what we're gonna do is climb right up Arrowhead Peak, which is behind me, probably difficult to see with this sun glare. We're gonna head on up there, should be class four and class five climbing, and then do a traverse over to McHenry's Peak, which would be off to my right, or kind of the west-southwest, and then continuing beyond McHenry's Peak over to Stone Man Pass. So it should be an incredible day of pretty intense scrambling. Um, I don't think it'll be anything we'll have trouble with, but I do imagine we'll encounter some class five and be soloing some, some easy class five terrain. So hopefully you can join me. It's gonna be an incredible experience here with Long's Peak describing the background as well. So looking forward to a really neat day. I'm just gonna hike a little and wave this thing around. <laughs> So we have found a great access trail heading straight to the adventure zone and I'm very pleased. So far this has been beautiful. The only difficult thing about Rocky Mountain National Park is arriving before 5 a.m. unless you have reserved a timed entry pass for the area. So there is some red tape, but I think it's gonna be well worth it. Yeah, you really don't have to lean on this much, yet. And I only got like 10 pounds on it, and I don't want to put more on it. Yeah, I'm getting absolutely raped by mosquitoes. Braden and I have just braved some seriously scary low class five slabs and uh, we don't want to do any more. We were too far right or east. We saw a hand line and it kind of sucked us in as well as that trail I shot on the way up. You want to stay more west, not straight under the summit, but actually west of the summit. You can see the lake here and I want to go over there. So we're just getting off the death slabs here and getting back on route. Most people who aren't comfortable with scrambling are not going to be okay coming up where we just went. And there is the summit proper. is steep but I'm gonna say still class three. I would expect a little class five if you get off route on this route at all. So be warned. If you look way down there you can see some climbers approaching properly on the easy slab. And here we are. Darn near the summit now. Here we are on the summit of Arrowhead. Was quite perilous dealing with the class five slide. Beautiful scene behind me though. That is the beginning of our next adventure and taking us to McHenry Peak. Really awesome, oh my gosh. So we'll be on that kind of knife edge of red there all the way to the summit. Really looking forward to it. And this whole summit and the park is just incredible. 
it's not world renowned for nothing. That's for sure. So hopefully you're enjoying the views. Please like and subscribe and get ready for the grand finale. Just so cool. Oh. I'm not stepping on that one. Oh, amazing scene here. Wow. Wow, oh my God. Dude, the exposure right here is nuts. <laughs> Wow, Zers. Oh. Even some of the big ones move. You can just make out Arrowhead kind of off over my right shoulder, where we came from. Incredibly beautiful ridge named the Wave for obvious reasons. And then behind us is the main event, and that is the ascent up the McHenry Arete, or ridge, if you will. So looking forward to cranking this. And the climbing up to this point has been easy class three at the most ever since we summited the Arrowhead. Boating well, super fun. Good work, Braden. Oh, wow. We are up here basically doing the ridge direct. You can see Braden down there climbing. It is unnecessary if you don't want a little further to the north. It's a, it's a little easier, a loose dirt trail. You can kind of see behind my right shoulder and behind Braden. So there's always that, but we're doing some easy class five and really taking that ridge direct here. And that's what it's looking like above me as well. So I, I'm loving this. But uh, it is what I would call free solo and not a scrap. So be advised, ridge direct proper more exciting. Summit, McHenry's. Incredibly awesome climb up the red proper to the summit on its east ridge. Wow, amazing. Definitely be prepared for a little class five if you want to do that. Otherwise, just off to the west a little further is a very friendly yet slightly loose trail. So those are great options for this. And this is the whole scene. And I apologize for the waning light but it is indicating that clouds are starting to build rather quickly. 
So we won't be sticking around too long. I wanted to just give you the full view of everything, and it is great. So we'll see you on the way down. Glad you could join us. Please like and subscribe. I'm gonna show you the Stone Man Descent. Stone Man Pass actually promises to be pretty darn cool. And uh, it's own great climb as it is if you were to go up Stone Man Pass here to McHenry and bypass some of the class four climbing. And there goes Braden. We are gonna try to make a little better time of this, knowing we got a storm brewing. And it's fun anyway. A little more class three. Putting this down. So here's a bivy site, a climber bivy, and this is used to climb stuff like the spearhead, and I believe that is the climber bivy I have used. Oh, so cool. Oh, Matrix! Way cool. Keyboard of the Winds is what it's called, are all those towers behind Long's Peak on the west side. Okay, I just have to comment. This Black Lake Cirque in general is just fantastic. So many cool features, the Spearhead, Long's Peak, McHenry's and Arrowhead as well. This place is just magic. So I had to just give you a quick glimpse. Okay, we have officially completed all technical sections of our Arrowhead McHenry Stone Man Traverse. It was fantastic. Really sound rock for considering we're in an alpine environment. Obviously still be careful, there is plenty of loose rock. Great climb. I'd say it's kind of a choose your own adventure as well. You could certainly climb class five and I'd say you could almost keep it to class three, almost, if you knew exactly where you're going. And Obviously, you saw all the good beta to try to help you make it as reasonable as possible if that's what you're going for. So other than that, even that really was all fantastic. We had a great time, incredible views, beautiful flowers, nothing not to like besides for the crowds at the parking lot. But you can expect that with Rocky Mountain and just make sure you get there before 5 a.m. That's when timed entry starts. So that's my story. I hope you guys enjoyed the trip. I know I did, but it is beautiful even now. Please like and subscribe. You don't miss out on any of the epicness because it seems like it's pretty much totally unending. Like this awesome waterfall right here.